So in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to build your first Oracle Jet application. I'm using NetBeans and if you have NetBeans with the HTML5 capabilities um, you should have under the samples HTML5 JavaScript an option called Oracle Jet Quick Start Basic for a project. So I'm creating a new project, I'm going to call it Sample3 and I'm going to click Finish. So what's actually happening now is that uh, NetBeans is downloading an Oracle Jet basic template from our site and creates a project for you. The basic template has an Oracle Jet project which is pre-configured with everything that you need in order to work with Jet. So this makes it very easy to get started. Um, it might be interesting for you to also see some of the videos that show you how to work with the base implementation that has you step by step configuring every part of Jet. But in my case, the quick start is actually easier to get started with. Um, in the quick start, you would see you have an index.html page and you can actually run it directly from NetBeans. This would open a browser and would show you the page. And you can see that the page loads content and it has various areas on the page. So this is using um, Oracle Alta UI. It uses a responsive design. So you can see, for example, now the menu is here in off screen mode. Um, so that's the basic index page. I'm going to show you how to create your own page um, from scratch. So the first thing I, you're going to learn is that in Jet development you're going to do probably a lot of uh, copy paste. So I'm going to create a new page. So at the top level we're going to create the shy page. And into this page I'm going to copy stuff that I need that is in the indexed page. So the first thing we're going to copy are two lines from the head section. Okay, um, It's going to be this line, which manages the required JS dependencies. So copy this one, and again put it inside our area in the head. And then the other thing is I'm going to want to use the Alta UI look and feel, so I'm going to copy this one as well. Okay, so this is a reference to a style sheet. Okay. Then, of course, do a reformat to get everything aligned correctly for you. Alright, so now that you have those two parts, your page is connected to RequireJS, and RequireJS manages the whole dependencies and the module system inside Oracle Jet. So the module system basically means that you can build your page from sections. Okay, so if we look at the index page, each one of those boxes is a section. So let's create our own section. To create a section, what you want to do is you want inside your JS area, okay? Um, there are two directories. There is a view directory. The view defines the uh, page UI, and you do it with an HTML. So let's create a new HTML file. Okay, we'll call this one the section one. So this would be an HTML file. And then to parallel it, you're going to create a view model, which is a JavaScript file, and it needs to have the same name. So do a new JavaScript file and call it section one also. Okay. So your model is blank and your section one over here has just this part. So we can actually say over here, this is section one. So we'll know this is what's going to show up in our HTML. So another question is, how do you use this section inside the page you just created? So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to again copy stuff from the index HTML. I'm going to look up um, the main area of the page. Okay, so if you scroll down, you'll see a lot of uh, references to OJ modules. We're going to pick up the main content area. Okay, so this one. Just copy this line and paste it into shy. So just below this one and we're going to also close the div tag like that. Okay. So what you're seeing here is we're having an ID. We can use a role. If you don't need a role, you can remove this one. Then we're using some style classes that would give us the look and feel for Alta. And then we're referencing the name of an OJ module. So our module is actually not involving a router right now. It's just called section one. So just update this to be section one. 
it should turn into purple if you're with default look and feel and then you can run this page and if you get an error like this you might actually need to put this inside remarks like that so now if you go to your page you'll see that your page shows up and it's going to say this is section one so this is basically the section that we built into the page right? so we can actually duplicate this so if we copy this line you know, those two lines and create another instance and call this one main content 2 still references section 1 we save this now you have it twice on your page so this is some level of reusability now and again this section can be used also in other pages alright so we only need one of those so we can remove the second line over here so now the question is okay you have this section 1 HTML it doesn't show much so you want to get some jet UI components in there what you probably want to do is go over to Oracle um, jet.org and then you can look into the cookbook and the cookbook gives you examples of how to use the various UI components okay so one thing that usually attacks people is our data visualization component right so um, let's look for example at our polar chart which is quite a complex component that you can see over here so the cookbook shows you how it looks like it also have behaviors that you can use but beyond that if you scroll down you would actually see the code that is needed for this um, component to work okay and again you're going to have one HTML section and one JavaScript file and the nice thing is that you can actually change stuff so for example if we put here 174 and click the apply changes scroll back up you can see that this is now 174 okay. so if you want to use things from the cookbook in your application it should be quite simple to just copy paste the HTML go over to NetBeans to your page and just paste it over here okay and you also need to do the same thing with the JavaScript now with the JavaScript there are a few changes that you would need to do so we'll copy everything control A control C go back here pick up section 1, we don't need a remark here, and we're going to paste it. So, a few changes between picking up things from the uh, cookbook and putting it into our um, sample. Instead of require, we actually just need to say define, okay, and this is because we're uh, not starting from scratch in our page, okay. The other thing that you would see at the end of this is this line that basically does apply binding again you don't need this section so this whole section you can remove it okay. why don't you need it it's because it's already implemented for you in the base project okay in here okay so you would see the same thing in the main JS someone already put it there you don't need it in each section of your page however each one of the samples does use um, some model that it returns and you need to return this so instead just try to return and then um, in this case it's the chart model that we're returning like this and then you click save okay. and then if you go and look back in your page hey you now have the same UI component in your section 1 with all the functionality available and of course changing stuff inside here okay for example if we now change it to 274 and saving the changes would reflect again for you in your user interface so this is how easy it is to actually start building your Oracle Jet application when you're using our quick start template NetBeans and our cookbook